हेलो स्टूडेंट्स बिकमिंग अ क्लास वन ग्रुप ए गजेटेड ऑफिसर इंडियन इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज ऑफिसर इट इज द ड्रीम ऑफ मेनी इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर ड्रीम मेनी इंजीनियर स्टूडेंट्स आर ऑलरेडी फाइटिंग फॉर इट प्रिपेयरिंग हार्ड फॉर द ई एस सी एग्जामिनेशन अलॉन्ग विद द गेट प्रिपरेशन एज वेल एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज एग्जामिनेशन देर इज डेफिनेटली अज रोल ऑफ द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन ऑफ द इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज इट सेल्फ राइट why previous year questions are important and how they are going to help you and assess you in your preparation in this video i am going to talk about important facts about the previous year questions of engineering services examination and not only with respect to engineering services examination even if you are a gate aspirant still okay at least for the common subjects you can target the engineering services pyqs which pyqs you can target for gate that also i'll tell you okay so let's get started the role of pyqs for ese upsc ese examination okay now first of all i have divided this role into five major parts some of them are very normal which you are aware about okay like you know first of all the pyq will always give you the idea about the level of the examination see mostly students take the first step as the preparation of gate examination okay some students also prepare commonly also but there are many students who have prepared for gate earlier and now they are focusing for ese right so there is definitely a difference a clear level difference between the gate and ese many students are habitual about the gate level which is mostly numerical oriented but in the engineering services examination it is not only numerical question there are several types of question i'm going to talk about the type of question very important to identify that right so first of all completing up the pyqs is definitely going to give you the level of the examination right whether it is up to gate or below the gate or how much depth it is going to cover definitely let me give you the idea that the level if it compare numerical to numerical it is less than the gate level but the depth of the syllabus the variety the variety of the topics is huge in this particular examination okay moving ahead to the next point it clearly gives you weightage analysis and it is very important for ese aspirant to know especially the weightage of the extra subjects right theek hai so you know esc has total 12 subjects divided into two papers paper 1 and paper 2 already although for prelims there is only one single technical paper comprising of 12 subjects but out of those 12 subjects more or less 8 to 10 subjects are common with gate for some of the branches it is even 11 but for some of the branches it is like 7 to 8 subjects common so there are common elements with gate okay and that students are habitual they are they are comfortable with the gate subjects because i told the students prepare for gate first of all but the extra subjects which is which they have not studied for gate which is only in the esc how much depth it is and what is the weightage of that because some students they believe ki kevel gate ka pad ke chale jayenge esc ho jayega but that is not the reality okay you need to know the extra subjects and what is the weightage okay and how much esc is uh, you know upsc is asking from those subjects can i skip one of them or not how much time to give everything will be uh, you know clear from that weightage analysis and also okay right i'll tell you one clear statistics this is just an update that you know if you go around maybe uh, you know 7 8 years back up to 2016 where there was the old pattern of uh, esc okay there were more factual and theory based question okay and there were numericals also but not great in number but if you look from 2017 onwards when the new pattern was announced by upsc okay where i just i mentioned 12 subjects in one uh, technical prelims paper okay and uh, you know very few questions from every subject they can ask it's you can understand 12 subjects and 150 questions is the prelims technical right okay so that means and definitely they can't skip numericals that means overall in percentage if i talk the numerical percentage is definitely more okay as compared you know if you go back to 2015 16 era their factual questions data based questions were more but now numerical questions are more that means the level has gone up now why i am saying numerical weightage has increased because it is as per the analysis of that examination so yeah the pyqs also give you that analysis ki yeah now they are focusing more on the numerical part so i have to have more practice of course i have to study in depth lot of syllabus is there but i have to have decent practice because numericals bhi acche se pooch rahe hain wo right now with the esc examination there is always a repetition factor again i tell you if you go back to 2015 16 14 there the repetition factor the repetition probability was much higher okay now it is not that high but still approximately to put down 20% repetition factor will be there 20% doesn't mean that 20% directly repeated okay but you know 
indirectly you know two questions uh, merged into one okay or two different concepts merged into one concept ठीक है या कभी एक statement के बारे में incorrect चीज पूछी थी now they are asking the correct thing about the particular phenomena something but twenty percent repetition factor will be there indirectly हाँ maybe two three questions can be directly repetition also but direct repetition in EAC also now has become less probable but definitely if you go through PYQs there is a repetition factor of twenty thirty percent twenty twenty thirty percent that means if you solve all the PYQ specially specially 2017 to 2023 the last paper conducted was 2000 in 2023 okay now the aspirants are preparing for 2024 and 25 etc okay so 2017 to 23 even if you take up these many years that will give you ki out of those particular questions definitely 20 30% questions I'm not telling again word to word, but can be solved by the knowledge of those, uh, you know, seven to eight years question, which I am mentioning. Clear everybody? So that is 20, 30% is huge. Okay. 20, 30% question aapke solve ho sakte hai previous year ke knowledge se directly. Okay. And then a very big thing about the engineering services PYQ. If you solve by the PYQs, you will get the types of question. Okay. Now, what do I mean by types of question? Let me elaborate. Okay. Because students mostly focus on numerical or theorem based question. Okay. But they are not, you know, uh, aware about ki kis kis tarike se questions aapko trick kar sakte hai. What are the types of questions, you know, uh, in the ESE? Okay. Let me classify here the different types of questions in the ESC prelims examination in the technical paper. I'll put it into five different types. Number one is the very regular, okay, the numerical type, okay. So, as I already mentioned, the weightage of the percentage of numerical type questions is higher. So, you need to pra practice, you know, be more numerically prepared for this examination. Okay. Next one. Okay. The questions which is always regular in ESC, that is, you can call it as factual question or some definition question or some statement of theorem. This theorem states that, okay, yeah, this is known as what? So, some definition or theorem based factual type of questions can be definitely expected. Iske liye matlab theory bhi pura padna hai. Right. Next okay is the correct and incorrect statement so you know given particular suppose what they usually do they have given one two three okay or four statement there are four statements given to you okay you can relate it something like msq question of gate four statements are given okay maybe one correct maybe two correct right this is mcq paper only option only one correct so they will put options okay which of the statements are correct maybe one and two correct Okay, maybe one and two correct. Option number B, all correct. Okay, one option will be maybe only, only two correct, right? And option number D, like one, two, three correct, something like this. Something like this. Achha, let me also tell you a twist in the uh, civil services examination this year. Now, civil services is also prepared by UPSC only. And there was a twist in the civil services examination this year. Okay, 2023 civil services examination. There was a new kind of question based on this. Now, looking into this data, looking into this data, if somebody identifies, if somebody identifies, you know, that one is correct. Okay. Okay, yeah, somebody identifies that three is correct. Chalo, isko le lete. If somebody identifies three is correct, okay, then these two options are eliminated. Definitely these two options. So here option elimination somehow works. Okay, if three is correct, then you only need to think about four. If four is correct, all will be correct. Otherwise, D is the correct answer. Are you getting it? That's what. Okay, so here you can get an idea. Three correct, so you have to think about four. But there was a new category in civil services exam examination. Maybe engineering services examination. We usko adapt kar le. And what was that new philosophy? Wo bhi aapko batata hun. Okay, they have given four statements. Yeah, three statements. Kuch bhi de diya. Kya bola unne? Kya bola unne? Ki tell me how many statements are correct. Tell me how many statements are correct. So like I told you, what will you apply here? If you identify third is correct, you have to only worry about fourth. Okay. But to tell how many are correct, you have to be very, very sure about all four. You have to be very sure about all four statements. Here, you have to be sure about all four statements. But in that question, you have to be sure about all. So I'm just telling a possibility because it was introduced in civil services this year. So next year, you can keep a little bit of And then, okay, the next category of questions, let me move towards. Okay, the next category of question is match the following, which is again, not much expected in gate. Okay, not much expected in gate. Achha, correct or incorrect statement ke baare mein aur match the following ke baare mein dono ko mix karke bolta hoon ki these are the areas, okay, which is going to test how depth and how conceptually you have prepared. Especially this correct and incorrect. 
राइट स्पेशली एंड वॉट दिस कैन मेक यू लर्न ओके सी सिंस यूर सॉल्विंग पी वाई क्यू आप ईएससी का एक्चुअल एग्जाम नहीं लिख रहे यूर सॉल्विंग सम प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन ओके सो वेन एवर यू सॉल्व सच क्वेश्चन ओके इफ यू फाइंड अ स्टेटमेंट करेक्ट यू नो यू शुड नो वाई इट इज करेक्ट ओके बट इफ अ स्टेटमेंट इज सपोज इन करेक्ट यू शुड ऑल्सो नो वाई इट इज इन करेक्ट इफ यू डोंट नो राइट मान लो तीन पता था एक नहीं पता गो एंड स्टडी इट सो दैट ऑल्सो पी वाई क्यूज विल हेल्प विल गिव यू लॉट ऑफ आइडिया कि किस तरीके से करेक्ट इन करेक्ट कितने डेप्थ में आ रहे हैं सो कॉन्सेप्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हेयर ओके मोस्टली दिस कॉन्सेप्ट रिलेटेड देन यू कैन देन ओनली यू कैन डिसाइड वॉट इज राइट वॉट इज रॉन्ग ये एकदम डायरेक्ट थियरी क्वेश्चन नहीं होता इट इज मोस्टली कॉन्सेप्ट बेस्ड ओके ठीक है सिमिलरली विद द मैच द फॉलोइंग एंड द लास्ट कैटेगरी वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेरी क्रूशल इज द असर्शन एंड रीजनिंग असर्शन गिवन एंड अ रीजनिंग गिवन ओके एंड यू हैव टू डिसाइड वेदर बोथ आर करेक्ट राइट और वेदर असर्शन इज ओनली करेक्ट इवन इफ बोथ आर करेक्ट वेदर रीजनिंग इज द करेक्ट रीजनिंग ऑफ दैट असर्शन और नॉट राइट नाउ दिस इज द एरिया जहां पे स्टूडेंट्स कितना भी अच्छा न्यूमेरिकली पढ़ लिया हो स्टूडेंट ने बट दिस इज अ एरिया वे स्टूडेंट्स यूजुअली दो ओनली प्रिपेयर टिल गेट जिन्हें गेट के लिए न्यूमेरिकल बहुत अच्छे से तैयार कर लिया है बट स्टिल इस सेक्शन में वो लोग हंड्रेड परसेंट कंफर्टेबल नहीं होते राइट दिस सेक्शन इज ऑल्सो अ सेक्शन विच इज गोइंग टू गिव यू अलार्म की आपको कॉन्सेप्ट पे और थियरी पार्ट पे बहुत अच्छे से फोकस करना है एंड द ओनली वे टू ओवरकम दिस इज लॉर्ड ऑफ प्रैक्टिस एंड नॉर्मली यू विल गेट अ लॉर्ड ऑफ प्रैक्टिस ओनली बाई टेकिंग पी वाई क्यूज राइट एंड नॉट ओनली फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन असेशन एंड रीजनिंग इज इज ओल्ड पैटर्न ये प्रीवियस पेपर में ही मिलेंगे राइट so i'll suggest you go and take up at least 15 20 years pyqs and do a lot of practice so the biggest help that you can get from pyq especially is this assertion and reasoning because you know many a times they come good in number dekho iska number abhi bhi fix nahi hua sometimes it can be as low as maybe around 8 9 10 sometimes they can be even 20 30 out of 150 prepared rana ho sakta hai 20 30 assertion reasoning aa jaye be prepared for anything so that's what the best way and you'll not get these questions in standard book theek hai ये सब तो थियरी पढ़ के आ जाएगा यू नो इफ यू आर कॉन्सेप्चुअली स्ट्रॉग यू कैन डू डिसाइड करेक्ट इन करेक्ट राइट एंड बाय प्रैक्टिसिंग लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू विल बी गुड इन न्यूमेरिकल टाइप क्वेश्चन एज वेल बट यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू फाइंड दिस इन स्टैंडर्ड बुक्स आल्सो राइट सो द बेस्ट वे ऑफ प्रैक्टिसिंग इट इज ओके ऑफकोर्स द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन एंड डू एज मेनी प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन स्पेशली असेशन एंड रीजनिंग एज वेल राइट सो द वेरी बिग इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ पी वाई क्यू इज यू नो इट विल मेक यू हैबिचुअल ऑफ हैंडलिंग ऑल टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन सब कुछ पता होने के बाद भी कुछ कैटेगरी में हम लोग फेल कर जाते हैं क्योंकि उतना एनालिसिस उतना आई क्यू उस पर्टिकुलर लॉजिक के लिए डेवलप नहीं है इसे तो इसीलिए आपको ये सारे प्रैक्टिस करने हैं आई थिंक पी वाई क्यू इज इज अ गुड सोर्स टू प्रैक्टिस ऑल ऑफ देम एंड टू असिस्ट यू इन दैट टू असिस्ट यू इन दैट the uh byju's exam prep team okay is also bringing you a series now this is optional i'm just add on kar raha hu theek hai mostly my intent to make this video was uh, to give you the clarity about pyqs but just in case agar aapko dekhna hai ki pyqs kis type ke topic by topic dekhna hai so guys from 2nd of august that is wednesday from the 2nd of august that is wednesday okay there is a particular esc previous year question series starting for you theek hai jisme there will be questions of previous year starting from 2017 jo new pattern maine bola 2017 se 2023 tak ke questions honge this is going to be live from wednesday that is 2nd of august and every monday wednesday friday alternate you will get technical subjects pyqs and every saturday you will have a non tech special class ओके वो पीवाई क्योंकि नहीं होगी नॉन टेक स्पेशल क्लास यू नो समाइम्स करेंट अफेयर्स समाइम्स प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट जो पेपर वन होता है प्रीलिम्स का राइट समाइम्स आईसीटी एंड मटेरियल साइंस एक्सेट्रा यू विल कीप गेटिंग सो एवरी सैटरडे ओके स्पेशल नॉन टेक क्लास एंड एमडब्ल्यू एफ टेक्निकल सब्जेक्ट्स सो आपको केवल क्या करना है कौन से सब्जेक्ट की क्लास हो रही है कितने बजे हो रही है सब कुछ आपको पता रहेगा इफ यू जस्ट सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल सो दैट यू गेट द रेगुलर अपडेट्स ओके बट लेट मी टेल यू फर्स्ट क्लास वेनसडे जो फर्स्ट क्लास है वेनसडे को 5 pm sanjay rathi sir is going to lead नेटवर्क थियरी के क्वेश्चंस करने वाले हैं ठीक है एंड नेटवर्क थियरी के भी टॉपिक बाय टॉपिक एक क्लास में सारे नेटवर्क के क्वेश्चन नहीं होंगे राइट ठीक है लाइक इन वन पर्टिकुलर क्लास टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क इन वन पर्टिकुलर क्लास थियरम्स इन वन पर्टिकुलर क्लास मे बी बेसिक्स लाइक केवीएल केसीएल सो संजय सर ओके वेनेसडे फाइव पी एम ओके बी रेडी ओके अटेंड दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन एंड ही विल टेक सम सेशन ऑफ नेटवर्क एंड देन एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा ऐसे आपके कई सारे सब्जेक्ट चलते रहेंगे ठीक है सो होप दिस सीरीज इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू बूस्ट योर प्रिपरेशन एंड इनिशियली जैसे कि मैंने बोला नेटवर्क या कंट्रोल इनिशियली कॉमन सब्जेक्ट से स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं तो इवन इफ यू आर अ गेट एस्पिरेंट यू कैन अटेंड दिस टू हैव अ प्रैक्टिस टू हैव अ प्रैक्टिस 
So I hope guys this video gives you quite some information about the engineering services uh, PYQs, right? Ki kya unka role hai, why you should focus and what are the different types of questions that you can conquer and learn from the PYQ. So stay subscribed and if you are not subscribed, do not forget to subscribe so that you are aware about all the sessions and all the activities happening on the channel. Bye bye. Thank you. Stay safe and take care of yourself.